dudes was trying to get on me. Like, son, still dressing like the 90s. Your shirt is mad baggy. Son, you stink like shit. I'd rather wear a baggy a shirt than rock that shit. I don't care what the deodorant you wear. And then especially, my guy, if you're the type of individual that boop, doesn't wear antiperspirant, you just put on deodorant and you got it all fucked up because you don't know man shit, you're done. <laughs> One of the good things that my brother taught me, though, right? Even though I don't talk to him no more for whatever fucking reason. I don't even know why. <laughs> we just don't talk. You feel me? Like, he don't look for me. I don't look for him. He could be dead for all I know. Hopefully he is. But anyway, um, nah, 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 nah. Hopefully he's not. That's fire, watcher. <laughs> nah, he's a pretty good dude. You know, I just get mad. You know what I'm saying? I'm whooping. <laughs> so anyway, um, I forgive no one. <laughs> but check this out, right? Uh, 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 antiperspirant and deodorant are two different things, my dude. You feel me? You got to read. I, and, so I taught you something, son. You're, you, I was with this girl that I used to be with, right? And I put her son up on like, yo, this is the deodorant you buy, bro. You heard? Because <laughs> you got a little bush down there, homie. <laughs> you got to wear antiperspirant. You know, and it's things like that, I think, that make me actually a better man. Than the man she had. <laughs> he never told him about the order. That shit goes a long way though, bro. Because that shit stays in your mind when you think. When you sit down like a human pong. And you thinking about life. And yo, who put me up on this shit? Because you only need the deodorant because you started using the deodorant. You get it? Your body wasn't made for you to be putting that shit there. Like, that wasn't around. When Jesus was walking around, Jesus wasn't like, yo, let's smell good. You heard? You think so? You think he was? Probably he was. Jesus was selling crack, son. Facts. Jesus, you're a drug dealer. <laughs> Shout out to Jesus, my guy guy. Sorry, I'm only joking. Damn you. No, listen. Serious. Uh, you ever seen them dudes in the train? Stop playing, bro. Stop playing. Respectfully. Respectfully. Keep it a stack. Shout out to all my Indians and all that, Guyanese. But tell me you don't be like, yo, chate pa acá. Ese tipo penta. <laughs> tell me, tell me, come on, bro. <laughs> Let's keep it a stack. Because I think that people don't be telling these people. And I think they think they smell good. But the problem is that in all of these countries, right, you get to chichal more if you stink. Facts. Check this out. Prime example. You go in a club. The girls ain't talking to you. You could try to be all you want to be in this army, homie. The minute the drunk dude come by that smell like alcohol, oh, they all on him. You like, how the fuck this bird has all these girls? You don't smell like alcohol, bro. <laughs> You're not, a, you feel me? People put two and two, like alcohol makes you want to do things that you would normally not do. <laughs> right? So guess what? She wants you because she's a freak. <laughs> and you start believing that you got the biggest matruski in America when you're drunk. When <laughs> the reality of it is, though, Bobby, <laughs> that you don't. <laughs> right? And you know who remind you of that? Every single year, every single text, every single post. Your ex-girl. Don't every time you break up with a girl, she'd be like, as a matter of fact, he got a little dick. <laughs> fuck, he can't even fuck. Now she's dragging you, son. You heard? You no good. You nothing. Ma, you can't diss me. I'm going to tell you why. I nutted in you. There's nothing you can do. To, there's nothing you can say about me. I nutted. <laughs> you had that shit on your face like it was Noxzema. Stop playing with me, bro. You can't diss me. That's like...